A warm welcome and congratulations to all the new parents here. I'm Dr. Neha. I work here in the capacity of attending consultant for Department of Pediatrics. And we are here to today to take you through the routine pediatric care. Most of you have attended now your sessions on uh, newborn care, antenatal, labor room delivery. You've just been familiarized with postpartum care. So while I take my presentation ahead, I want you to take the leap forward to a situation or uh, later in future when you've all adjusted with your newborn. When you have the baby with you or let's say the adjustments are there and the planning is beginning. Uh, or on a lighter note, let's put it that you've accepted sleepless nights. You've understood there are no more social outings. You've understood no plan, unplanned movies. So, and now you're planning ahead what is best for the baby. I'll try and make it a little interactive in the beginning to understand what are the expectations today that you hold out of the medical system, out of your own parenting uh, ideas. What is it that you're looking for in a baby? Any volunteers? Let's say, okay, I'll make this easy. We are all looking to a baby who grows up to be healthy. So any inputs, how we plan to do that? Sorry? That's good. Healthy eating habits. Anything else? Breastfeeding is one way. So that sort of covers the same thing, that it's the feeding that we are talking about. Let's make this even more simpler. We want to optimize the child's potential. We don't want the tallest baby or the healthiest baby. We want that the baby should be able to so, Jai, achieve I just request best. Dr. Swati to proceed with the session. Thank you. Very good afternoon to all of you. This is the last workshop in a series of uh, workshops that we conduct. And uh, we are going to talk about the postpartum is period. during the time of delivery. Antipartum means before. The nine, the nine months of pregnancy and postpartum is after delivery. So after the delivery, the time span is six weeks. We typically define postpartum period as the six weeks subsequent to the delivery, during which time the delivery, uh, the pregnancy related changes in the body go back to the pre-pregnancy state. So this is an important time, wherein more, uh, what is the objective of this postnatal care that we are going to talk about? Uh, it is to make you aware about the postpartum complications that can happen so that we can prevent them. Uh, we like to care for restoring optimum health of the baby, of the mother and the baby. Uh, would like to check for the adequacy of breastfeeding. And uh, in these checkups, we also talk about the basic uh, uh, health education. About I'm Dr. Sapna, I'm the physiotherapist. My topic of presentation is postnatal fitness. Caring for your uh, the massage, body. it should not be vigorous massage, it should be like with the uh, light handers you can do, uh, do the massage. For the abdomen, uh, the direction should be from periphery to the center. If it is a cesarean delivery, you have to protect your stitches. So after two weeks of your uh, delivery, you can start the massage. For the feet massage, it's fine, you can go for the feet massage, hand massage, back massage, it's fine. After two weeks of your delivery, you can go for massage. Okay. Any other doubt? The last one. Uh, Any doubt? Where you? This one? Yeah, the bridge. After 24 hours. This can be done even after the cesarean. Yeah. But you have to protect your stitches. So you have to keep your hands on, the, on your abdomen, on your stitches. Then you, have, you can raise your back. I think uh, this is the last for the series of the workshops you've attended. I hope uh, it was, uh, all these sessions were informative and encouraging as well for normal delivery, breastfeeding and uh, let me tell you we should uh, work on every topic, everything as a team and I can assure you the team at Sitaram Bhartia including the sisters, doctors, your gynecologists, pediatricians, I, I am a lactation counsellor, we all are there for you, we are a supporting team so any doubts, any queries I always tell all my patients. Just don't keep anything to yourself. Just talk it out. Talk it out with your doctor. You can talk to me regarding breastfeeding. If you want to join back to work, how will you manage? So we are there for you basically. So I think uh, you all are now prepared for your um, deliveries and you are more confident would-be parents. Am I right? Do you all agree with us? Thank you.